hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video man welcome back to my channel i appreciate you guys for tuning in i just wanted to get on here real quick before the video and just apologize to you guys ahead of time for the quality of this video i'm not sure what happened there was a setting that was incorrect it caused the quality of this video to diminish i'm here in my reset getting ready to edit it got the footage off of the camera for the first time and realized something was not right but i still wanted to get the video out to you guys anyway because it might be helpful so i hope you guys enjoy it man Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, man. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm doing this week a little bit different. I just dropped off a load here in South Carolina near Columbia or Charlotte, one of them. We started out in Houston. We dropped the load off in uh, Georgia, South Georgia. Then we had another partial here to drop off, totaling 3,400 bucks. Anyways, what we're doing today is I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're gonna go pick up a reel that's going from just south of Columbia up to Connecticut. It's about a 63 mile deadhead. That's what we're doing. This is my first time doing a reel so I wanted to bring y'all on and we're gonna pretty much learn how to do this together do it the right way we're gonna use chains um, maybe some straps I don't know like I said I've never done this before so stay tuned that's what we're doing today like I said we got about a 63 mile deadhead let's go get it man I'm sorry, I missed your call. All right, y'all. So I was just trying to call ahead, man, and um, give him a heads up, let him know my ETA for this pickup, picking up this reel. Uh, I didn't realize the time. It's 12:17, so they're probably on lunch. But um, I'm about an hour out, so by the time I get there, they should be back. I'm gonna try to call them again, though, in about 15 minutes and see if we can get them on the phone and just confirm. We just got here to pick up these reels, man, and I'm just actually waiting. We got a, a step deck in front of me getting loaded. I was kind of chopping it up with him a little bit to kind of see what he was doing. Cool guy. Just getting a little bit of advice on, you know, securing the reel. Cause like I said, it's my first time. Every time it's the first time for something, you're a little nervous. We just waiting right now. They're finding my load, but then we gonna get started. I was on a live just now, man, and I might get back on, but I already got a, I, I got a lot of knowledge. You know, people were giving me feedback. I told them where I was at and what I was doing. They said three chains, one down the middle, one in the front and one in the back and then put your dunnage in the front and in the back so that you know the weight can hold it down. And I'll probably put straps over it just to be safe. We don't want that thing rolling nowhere. They got their own two, two by fours here, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough. We gonna see y'all. All right, y'all, so my man came out, told me he got uh, my paperwork ready and he about to bring the reel out and get me loaded. It's eight feet high. I'm a little nervous, man, I ain't gonna front. We about to get this thing loaded, y'all, so let's do it. We gonna get our chains out and everything, get prepared until they come out here and um, get it done. So I'm gonna be setting this over the front axle and then having you know some of it in front of the axle to kind of evenly distribute the weight. It's about 5,000 pounds. So like I said, I'm gonna have most of it over the axle, the rear axle, and then some in front of it. Then I'm gonna use two pieces of my dunnage in the front and in the back of the reel. All right, y'all, so when you pull out your binders, the first thing you wanna do with them is uh, go ahead and unscrew them out all the way. With these, you can just hold it up and turn them. I don't know if y'all can see, but on, on this type of binder that I have here, there's a little red paint or something in there. And I usually just screw them out so that when I'm tightening it down, I got enough play to play with. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. I usually uh, keep them like that, so they're already all screwed out. Got them all the way down, unscrew them all the way. So some people say to use uh, three chains. I don't know, I may use three, I don't know. We are gonna see, but he about to come, I believe, with my reel, and then we are gonna start getting loaded. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna line my dunnage up in line with my straps so that I can run a strap over it. Some say you don't have to uh, you know, use a strap over the dunnage, but I feel a little bit safer just in case if there's any movement, the strap will kind of hold them in. So with one right here, I'll be able to run this strap over the top of my, strap, of my dunnage and then wherever this one ends up, I'll be able to, uh, you know, line a strap up with it just to be safe. All right, y'all, 
so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna run my straps over the dunnage that I put down. They place two down, but it, I don't feel like it's enough to stop it from rolling. So that's what we're doing, man. Let's get it. Is that the only way to get the chain through? I'm wondering how to get the chain through and I saw you doing that. You mind if I show like on my camera your thing, your setup? I wanna show like all your work, man. I, I... <laughs> hey, you working, man. So here go my man, he got a step deck. He got about six of these reels, man. Working. He gave me a little bit of advice earlier too. He don't speak much English, but I'm gonna borrow that pole he got to put my chain through. And then I'll be able to get going. We gonna get here, man. We get here one day, y'all. Yes, sir. So I found this pole, man. I had to wait on the buddy. But what you do is you put your hook in here, because I was figuring out how do they get it across without it sliding off, but just put the hook of the chain in here and kind of just push it through and work it. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do next is pretty much secure my chains. Uh, I put three, like I said, so depending on how much length I got. All right, here go the first one. Got the second one in there, and then. All right, y'all, so we got all our chains hooked up. I've got three chains in there, one down the middle, one pulling forward, pulling back. I'm gonna start off with the uh, the one in the front, pulling that one forward, and then I'm gonna work my way back. Or I may actually go to the back and then come in the middle. All right, y'all, so that's it for this load. I hope y'all can hear me, it's real windy, but I just got done securing everything, kind of showed you guys a little bit what I did. This is it, man, that's the load, everything is secured. I don't think I did too bad. There it is. Alright y'all, so that's it for the load, man. We got everything secured. All right, y'all, so there you have it, man. We done secured a reel for the first time. Hopefully y'all can take something away from it. Um, I might keep this going until we drop it off in Connecticut only because I haven't been up there before, but that's it, y'all. We stopping, we putting fuel, and then we doing a quick safety check, see how I did. And so far, man, everything looking good. Probably put a little bit more tension on this one right here. Not bad, man. Alright y'all, that's that man. We good to go. But man, this truck is dirty. I ain't take this thing for a wash, man. I haven't been I ain't been really taking care of my baby. Safety is so important in everything that we do, uh, whether or not it's in trucking or just in our day-to-day -day lives. I just want to make sure that everybody uh, continues to educate themselves, enlighten themselves, and then make sure you cascade that information to people within your network and like-minded individuals around you 
So as we all continue to grow individually, we can also continue to grow collectively. y'all man it is hot out here as y'all can see man we just got loaded with this reel but that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys appreciate y'all tuning in hope y'all took something away from the video and i hope y'all learned with me as well doing this reel if you're new to the channel consider subscribing follow me on instagram guys i am very active on instagram hotshot underscore mac with two c's and we'll see y'all in the next video peace